tracking your steps and your calories is so old school, Elaine. All right, I am okay. old school. I have my Fitbit, though. I still like it. There's a new <laughs> fitness tracker that says it is going a step forward by allegedly measuring your muscle mass and body fat. Okay. Which I have a lot of. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> muscle okay. mass, I mean. Oh, right. Yes, of course. That's what I was thinking. Um, let me ask you this. It's called Sculpt Aim. But really, what is it that this item is purporting to do? And realistically, what is it that it can do? What it's saying it's doing is not just measuring your um, body fat percentage, but that the body fat percentage on particular muscles, you're supposed to be able to put this on your arm or your stomach and it'll say what your percentage is there. It holds, you hold it up to your Yeah, it, ha it has some sensors. They're not even saying how many different kinds of sensors they have, just proprietary sensors. Now, here's what's weird about that measurement. If you know something about exercise, you know that it doesn't really make a difference if you know the body percentage of one place or another because that's your whole body. Right. You can't do much about that. And two, we found that it kept giving different results right. each time. Uh, one of our reporters had 10% body fat percentage one day and then 22% the next. It also says it can tell muscle definition. That's just a marketing term. Your eyes can tell your muscle right. the definition. And that also gave widely different answers each time we tested it. So you have to, as a consumer, be aware that a lot of fitness devices now want to stand out in the market. They want to stand out against Fitbit and say that they can do something more. But in reality, not all the sensors make a lot of sense, especially for $200. That's a lot of money. That's and I, I've actually, I have one of those scales at home that actually does some of that. You know, you get on it and it tells you what your body fat percentage is, what the water weight is. Mm -hmm. And then it's never right because there is no way that there's 22% body fat. <laughs> on this physique. So I can't imagine, I can't imagine that this app would be able to do the same thing. Well, the, well the, the point is, is that, <laughs> you know, at the end of the day, you want a device that helps just give you, keep you motivated and give you a little push and keep you honest in how many steps you're doing. Uh, as, as far as knowing the body fat percentage of one place in your body or another, I mean, that's not going to be helpful. Right. But, you know, find something that at least maybe helps keep you honest in how active you are in the day and start with that. That's why I like it. Good advice. Yes. Right? Richard Carey, thank you so much. Thanks.